Alright guys, welcome back to Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown. As always, I'm Sergeant Alpha. And for this episode, we're picking up where we left off. Uh, we are still attached to the 444th Air Force Squadron, or the penal unit, after we uh, had shot down uh, the former president, or so we were accused of anyway. And uh, we defended the base, shot down a bunch of bombers and some planes that came after us while we were trying to do that. And now we're just going to pick up and see what else happens. <laughs> As you notice, our new AWACS isn't really a fan of us. Uh, you know, we're pretty much pawns in the whole grand scheme of things. So it's going to be interesting to see how that unfolds. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and hop in and see what happens. Mihai's granddaughters liked to keep to themselves, mostly. They were well-behaved and possessed a sort of quiet elegance. From time to time, I'd catch myself looking at them, wondering what they were talking about. I'm sure everyone on the base did the same. They were such enthralling creatures. Every night, a crowd would gather around Mihai. They were the men tasked with guarding him in the air. Their jackets all wore the same patch, a relic from a nation that was long gone. Decades ago, during the Age of Expansion, the Kingdom of Erugia absorbed many countries. Theirs was one of them. Mihai asked them, Yet what is a nation? Can we actually see the physical lines that divide one from another? People of my generation can no longer speak the language of our homeland. My grandparents always look sad when they see I have no idea what they're saying to me. Mihai didn't say a word after that. His scarred face betrayed no emotion. He didn't get those scars from flying, though. Mihai was originally from Shilaji. His real name is Mihai Dimitru Maria Cornelio Leopold Blanca Carol Aon Ignatius Raphael Maria Nikitas A. Shilaji. When he was young, he was the heir to the Grand Duchy of Shilaji. Then, revolution broke out among his people. Mihai was betrayed by a close friend who pointed a gun at his face and pulled the trigger. The revolution was successful, but the new country that sprang from it was annexed by the expanding kingdom of Arusia. The Arusian royal family allowed Mihai's family to retain their title and noble standing in the new kingdom. But Mihai surprised them all by signing up for the draft like an ordinary Arusian citizen. He was then accepted into the Air Force Academy by order of the king. Mihai soon became an ace pilot when the royal family was ousted and Arugia became a republic, he continued his service for the new regime. Test sites soon flourished. One day, a classmate of Mihai's granddaughter visited. I noticed the rose emblem. She laughed like a princess. And I found out later, she was indeed the daughter of Arugia's new ruler. She was the connection to the royal bloodline everyone was looking for, the one to restore the monarchy. This new princess was truly a godsend for the Arugian people. If Mihai's granddaughters were like the moon, she was like the sun, around which everything seemed to orbit. Her face was so expressive. It's no wonder the people of this war-torn country instantly felt at ease when they saw her speeches. They started singing. The pilots of the support plane smiled, even though they wished their nation were independent from hers. Angelic. I wonder how Mihai felt about all of this. 
It was my job to research his neurological data, after all. I wish I could figure him out. Whatever his feelings were about losing his homeland, he kept hidden. Even from me. <coughs> Alright, so, before we get into this, I'm going to have something about the uh, short clip you saw after the briefing. Your mission is to atone for your crimes by attracting the enemy's attention. First, I want you to head from the base to the desert region of Roca Roja to the northwest. And then second, you will attack the large Arusian base there. We've been unable to verify that base's ability to deal with fighters. You will attack and provoke the enemy into revealing their AA strategy. Get them to fire at you as much as you can. That way, we can confirm where they're firing from. Then it's a case of sending in a regular force to clean them out. For this mission, we prepared a frontline base that can be used for ammo replenishment and aircraft repairs. However, this is not for you guys. Only the regular force has permission to use it. Even if you run out of ammo, don't forget that you're just decoys. You stay out there as targets for the enemy. All right, so the dog that you saw in the video, you may have noticed it wasn't really moving, it was just mostly a picture. And the reason behind that is one of the guys that was working on the game, I believe as a developer, that was actually their dog. And while they were working on Ace Combat 7, unfortunately the dog died. And so that's kind of like a tribute or memorial, you know, whatever you want to call it, for the dog. They actually put their dog into the game. You know, it's uh, kind of cool and it's kind of sad at the same time. I don't know I'm a, I love all kinds of dogs. But, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd go ahead and share that little bit of info with you guys. And it's uh, something that you don't see that often. Or if you see different Easter eggs, you never really hear a backstory about it. But, you know, it's just what I heard. And, yeah, I thought it was kind of nice. But we're going to go ahead and jump into this. And uh, since we are going to mostly be attacking ground targets, we are going to drag out the A-10. It is very nice on ground targets. Uh, we're going to go for the four times at uh, ground. I uh, a couple of extra parts here that I've unlocked. Uh, show me that need. I don't need that either. Yeah, that's probably better. Okay, we'll go ahead and fix down that. And we'll go ahead and sorting. Aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. Now, with the A-10, I can defend myself against planes, but it's not the ideal thing to go up against planes with. So, well, you'll mostly see me dodging a lot of missiles with it and sort of trying to uh, take on the fighters. And All right, so... We are in A-10. All aircraft, spread out and attack. We're clear to attack, right? I heard the regular forces were going to clean things up. It's just like before. We blow the shit out of everything. Sharp as attack, aren't you, Spare 8? Regular forces can reduce losses if you tenderize the base first. If you can't handle that, just fly and be a target. <laughs> Alright, we drop through the clouds. We're going to be targeting these guys over here on the left first. Alright, so that first run was pretty nice. We took out two planes. Uh, I believe they were F 16s, and we took out four targets on the ground. We're gonna come back around to the base. Cut the crap. There's work to do. Any regular aircraft 
to join later, needing any repairs or ammo, will fly over the return line. However, you guys do not have that luxury. So, what are we supposed to do? Take care of the anti-aircraft guns. I'm out. Returning to resupply. How are we supposed to work without ammo? I'm heading back. Nice try. This stuff isn't for you guys. Let's be honest here. The regulars like us aren't allowed to resupply. But in your heart, you want us to smash that base. Am I off? You're gonna wish this mission never ended. Looks like bad dogs finally come around. All bombers destroyed before takeoff. Who did that? Scratch one hostile. That was fast. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Righto. Well, the only thing about the A-10 is, like I said, it's not built for dogfighting like this, and it moves at a lot lower speed than your normal plane, so you gotta be careful about uh, stalling. And uh, that's why you saw me take out the S-16 there with guns, because <laughs> he was too close to me, and I couldn't really get Good angle of missiles. Why are you acting like some big shot count? <laughs> Trigger is the one who did most of the work. Why are you so proud of that, full band? The vehicles have been taken out. Move on to the next target. You're our official fly swatter now, Trigger. Oh, we had some hits on us with our guns. Come up and over. Come on, give me my missiles. Give me my missiles. There we go. That's a solid miss. I was trying to get at least in the area of those guys. Uh oh! Fire. Nope! Target rich environment down there. Alright, I got a sand target locked on down there. We're gonna go in for him. Get a helicopter. Let's bet how much damage we can do with just machine guns. Missile launched. Rest in peace. Oh, my target rich environment right down there. Very nice, very nice, okay. Come back around. Special weaponry out. Trigger, he's got a lock. Missile, not that big. Missile. Another helicopter down. That's pretty much everybody in that area. We're gonna come over here. Base commander makes a big deal whenever a new mission comes in, but it's just one after another. Like that was the plan all along, or something. Battle doctrines. Something happens, they tell you what to do next. Osea has one. It probably says where and when pawns like us will die. Maybe they already know the next strategy. Hold up, hold up. Let's make a bet. Whoever guesses the next strategy wins. You can get in on this. 
too, Bandog. Maybe you guys need to cool your heads off in solitary. Let me look into this doctrine thing. Man, you're delusional. The bribe is all you need to look into a terminal. It's amazing how many people write their password on a note by their desk. Oh. Gathering intel is all about getting access. Yeah, we're going for the target rich environments here because we got five minutes left. Oh, there's a lot of entire craft fire down there. Come back around again, because this guy's really starting to piss me off. About one moment, APC down there. Aircraft approaching at high speed, bearing two eight zero. All right, we got drones coming in. Oh, well, there's another big base. They're just obstacles in your way. Don't forget your original mission. It's bad enough just dealing with the surface. Damn. Missile away. Did the jailer know about the shitstorm he was sending us into? Pure units are just pawns. That liar son of a bitch. Don't pretend like you deserve any better. Continue with the operation. Trigger destroyed the enemy facility. Wow, we got the Sam down there that's been shooting at us.
get your numbers. There's no way this base can be attacked from the air. Jesus, come on. Missile. Missile. Enemy behind you. Take. Enemy sticking in my rear. Missile. Missile. Evading. Trigger eliminated at target. Yeah, two on my ass. I've got Sam's all over the freaking place. Oh, we got a MIG. We got more down there. I'm running out of missiles and flares, guys. Come back around. Oh, mission accomplished. Okay. You hit the enemy base enough. Operation is complete. Head back. The bastards who flew off are going to wish they were never born. <clears throat> you guys get a pass. Damn right. I wouldn't be surprised if we're thrown in solitary too. Hey, who wants to bet who goes into solitary? That's what that gambling nut job would say if he was still here. <laughs> Where's your sense of humor, guys? Your buddy's making a joke. Laugh already. <laughs> Some welcome. All aircraft, spread out and attack. We're clear to attack, right? I heard the regular forces were gonna clean things up. <laughs> okay, yeah, so... That was... The next mission... Was mostly ground attack. I think we got hit by one missile and the rest of it was all anti-aircraft fire. But, uh, yeah. That was mostly just dodging missiles left and right. And, uh, trying to stay alive. And you see how tricky it is to dogfight with the A-10. I wouldn't recommend it if, unless you have to. You really have no other option. The A-10 is pretty much a strictly 
ground aircraft. So, now we did get a lot of nice hits in, especially right here with the F-16s. I was very really happy with how we took those guys out before they even got off the ground. Uh, same with the bombers, we got the bombers before they got off the ground. And uh, you know, it was mostly just coming in, attack, seeing them attack, seeing them, hitting them with missiles, hitting them with guns. And there's the first bomber going down there. And we're going to spin around and we're going to come back for another pass on. Uh, there's the third bomber on your bottom left. So I think we actually have to make a third pass to get the third bomber. And that's where we're getting missiles fired at us. And we're going to come in again and take out this last bomber here. Then all the bombers are down now. And now we're just firing missiles at the base. And uh, getting things done. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this episode. <laughs> that was quite stressful, as you saw. And uh, you may notice, you know, I may take some hits, or I may... I have our time. That is the thing about these time I normally play on normal just because it's a little tricky on normal. Uh, I have played through a couple times on hard on different missions, and it is really hard. Uh, so, there are uh, plenty of challenges for those who like Ace Combat and like a challenge. Uh, that was their F 16 that we were dogfighting. But that's going to be all. Uh, Plus, I don't say that's all I have time for, but really quick before I get to that, uh, I will try to have the link from my Discord in the description below. You know, if you want to see some screenshots from stuff I do, or uh, when I was recording, or if I wasn't recording, or if you just want to uh, hang out and talk or send me a message, whatever, feel free. And uh, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, talk to you a little bit or something. Uh, but that will be all I have time for for this episode. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.